Now, many people think ghosts are fantasy, mm. but we are about to show you a spooky encounter that may be enough to sway the minds of non-believers. A group of Aussie ghost hunters say they recorded a spirit sending them a warning from the other side, and you won't believe what happened next. Is there anyone here with us? These ghost hunters are searching for the supernatural. They've heard this creepy Gold Coast tunnel is haunted. I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. This is terrifying, man. Seriously. Instead of avoiding the pitch black, Hayley walks in alone to investigate. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm pulling out. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, that's not cool. Oh. Outside, the ladies listen for clues. I thought that might have been you, that's but not Haley. Uh, 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 yeah. With the audio enhanced, it sounds like a warning. Oh. Then. This happened. The reason I panicked was I seen a face coming at me from this side, and I just sort of seen a face. Torch, torch, oh torch. That was loud as oh. Guys. That, seriously? No, that's danger. Guys, stop. If there's anyone here, you need to make yourself known right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, God, she's scared. <laughs> Lily and Celine Mackey are with Haunted Down Under and they join us now from the tunnel near the Gold Coast. Morning oh. to you. Hayley, do you believe you've recorded Good a morning. warning from a ghost? Yeah, definitely. We absolutely do. We can um, look back at evidence. We've got three good points of evidence. We've got something that psychics picked up, um, something on tape, and then also we can match it with some audio in a camera. So, yes. Oh, girls, that was frightening. After the explosion, you were terrified. You called the police. Celine, did you ever find out what the cause of the explosion was? Yeah, so obviously at the time we were really concerned about our safety, so mm. we kind of hightailed it out there, but we were so concerned afterwards and we just wanted to know basically what had happened. So after um, coming together as a group and having a chat, we came back down just to try and debunk everything and see what it might have been. And um, yeah, we went back down to go and have a look. Um, and what did you find? We found um, what looked like an exploded plastic bottle of some kind, so uh -oh. we're not sure if it was that or potentially maybe a firecracker. So we're not quite sure. Oh. <laughs> so when Gee, the ghost has got a sense of humour. Yeah. Did that? Or it wasn't, some, the kids kids <laughs> it wasn't some school holiday kids up the end of the tunnel. Just no. Well, we think so. We, we, we actually go live, so we actually, um, on Facebook, so we actually said we're where we were live, and we think during the course of that live, someone snuck down, unfortunately, and tried to play a prank on us. Oh, uh. the wags. Um, Hayley, you went inside the tunnel. <laughs> it was pitch black. It was cold. Yep. You were really scared. Yes. <laughs> Why do you do it? Because it's my passion, it's my hobby, so um, I enjoy doing it. I want to prove that there is afterlife. I'm a sensitive, so that's why I do it. I'm sure Celine as well, she's a sensitive too. That's why we do it. And I know that Nadine and Caitlin both enjoy the tech side of things, so they go in because they love to prove, we like to match our evidence and prove that there is afterlife. Right, okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Really appreciate it.